antebellum, hung, and low, were quiet. But they seemed hopeful. They had the same kind of hope then. I did. Both me and Park. And we were leaving their place. Leaving it behind us. But still I could sense distrust. Which in this world is healthy. Often one does not help another out the goodness of their own heart. While Park and I had altruistic goals, there was still a bigger picture we were working towards. Destroying rebirth. Breaking those chains. Sitting all free. That was not going to be an easy task, and that... That was going to be a bloody one. I think the three newbies knew that, and they'd get a taste of it when they run back. Not from the Holy Nation, but from the others that roam this desert waste. Bandits of all kinds and beasts. We journeyed throughout the night, and most of the day, before finally one group caught up to us on the road. Then we'd have to stand, turn round, and fight. And fight we would. Kia ora, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Right on here, and welcome back to Kenshi. We are with our roamers, and our dreamers are also being attacked at the same time. It would seem that Hanbu, the poor sucker, is getting a little bit of a beat down. Well, we are about to get a beat down from a whole heap of um, hungry bandits here. First of all, we're going to check on with poor Hanbu here, who probably is trying his best to hold his own back at home. Spot is here as well, but Spot really isn't doing too much. It looks like Hanbu is actually only fighting one at this stage so the two of them together should definitely be able to deal with this situation so spot we're going to take you off passive so that you can help defend your friend yeah there wouldn't be as much of a problem if we did that in the first place and so we're going to leave those two to it but uh yes we definitely need to be spending time with this group here who are now going to be in a fair bit of trouble and so we are going to be dropping these backpacks. Actually, before we do, we should actually get the full complement of gear back on. Dropping that back into here. And the same thing with you, Oren. Uh, let's get those back into your backpack. Drop you down. Ruka is going to be dropped any moment now, but we'll make sure that, that pack is put back in there at the same time. And the three of you should be okay. Looks like Lo is just going to be using martial arts in this fight. So Park... We are going to get you to drop dear Ruka. Okay, she's down, and the lot of us are going to go and attack all. We're going to make sure that we get Hong with his bow, with her bow rather, to stand off on the side here. But we are all starting to rush into this fight now. For some reason, Dogmeat doesn't like to attack all. So we're just going to go ahead and attack targets with dog meat. Ah, that's actually Hong that I had selected there. My bad, but that one will actually work out as a good target. A few big attacks coming through on Park there, but we are seeing a lot of green across the board. Dog meat, let's see. Ah, it's because we have you on passive. Yes, that is my mistake. How about you go try and help out Hong here? And we're going to get Hong to run over this other side. And again, it would appear that by me trying to select on here, I don't always actually end up hitting them. Just dodged that one, Hong. Well done. But it looks like this is going to be a decided victory for us. Lo is getting some combat experience at the same time, which is good. Looks like Hong... Ooh, nice hit. And Hong does actually have a weapon, so... Yeah, there we go. Dogmeat coming in to assist. We've got a few of them that are getting back up, but overall, none of us have gone down, so it's a really good sign. We are getting better at combat overall. Good job, team. Good job. Just go pop over there, Hong. Now, we do have Hong on hold, which means that Hong won't be running towards our enemies. For the most part, that's what we want to be happening. Um, because being ranged, you just need to plant your feet and just get to it. I haven't actually checked in to see how Hong's... Um, <sighs> there goes dog meat. Well, hopefully there aren't any others that we're going to encounter along the way here. Now, Ruka, your leg is still injured. Can I do any robotics on you? We might be able to. Let's go ahead and open up this bag. Uh, we don't have the robotics. Who has it? We'll just go ahead and start getting everyone's backpacks back on. Just so that we're going to be good to go. I thought it could be Oren, maybe. No, not Oren. 
perhaps park. Yes, it is park. Okay, so um, I guess the best thing for us to do is have a look. And I think I had a look, and I think park actually does have the best robotics out of all of us. Now, can he... He can't do any repairs. So what we want to try and do is add it as a... Uh, a job down here. It's a separate job, funnily enough. And the same thing with splinting. We want to make sure that splinting is going to be something that we can do. So we'll just go through, see if anyone actually needs splinting. Doesn't look like anyone does. No, we do. Okay, so if we're going to shift click this, and there, splint rigging is now added in amongst the rest. So that will be an automatic job that Park does. Okay, everyone else should be okay. I think we're running after dog meat. Yeah. Overall, we're all right. Looks like um, Obalum is going to need a little bit of a touch-up, but um, really, we came out of that decent. Um, let's see if we can find a leader amongst them. Hungry Bandit, Hungry Bandit. I mean, more often than not, there is a leader, but um, we might just be out of luck there. But what we can do, at the very least, is with Low here, we can go get Low some new clothes. Lo and behold, there we go, so that should be a little bit better, we should see Lo looking less like a Holy Nation slave, still does, a lot, even with the rags, I mean they are rags, uh, let's see if Obellum is still the same, and yeah Hong is still the same as well, and one of the main reasons is the um, shaved heads as well, because that is something that they do, immediately once they actually uh, take you in so yeah now Ruka how fast are you you're still a little bit on the slow side I don't think she's actually slowing us down too much with that leg it is at 30 what we can do is just quickly check her run speed which is going to be 11 and then check it against everyone else so yeah we're gonna go get Park to pick you up again just for the sake of us moving at a quick speed or at least a little bit faster um, it does drop, it does drop Park down to 12 anyway, but it's going to give him a little bit of strength experience and we could actually get some more strength experience by carrying some of these others with us for a while. Perhaps it will also um, kind of frighten off anyone that might try and attack us. The only bad thing about that is it will slow us down further. But Park has a fair bit of speed, so I think we should be able to get away with picking up at least one person here. And it looks like we can before slowing down too much. And it looks like Park is actually going to heal this person up. Yeah, so we're going to carry them as a, a warning to any others who might try and stop us on our journey. Now we are going to continue running towards the hub. That is our first goal. We're going to have to go past Stack and Dogmeat. How far away did you get? You got bloody ages away. So Dogmeat was playing limbs and somehow got very, very far away from us. We can see that our dreamers are under attack again. I think what we're going to have to do is just group everyone back together over here. Oh dear. Let's go see what's going on back here. Uh, no, it looks like we're okay now, but there might have been a little bit of trouble back in town. And yeah, it certainly seems like there has been some uh, attacking going on here. Hanbu did take a little bit of a beating, but it seems that uh, both Hanbu and Spot took care of the Hungry Bandit just fine. Although Spot, oh no, yes, Spot, you're, you're looking good. Hanbu, let's go get you to have a proper rest on top of the building. And Spot, we can do the same thing. Occasionally, we are just going to have to run them back and get them doing that. Which takes them out of the um, work pool for a while. But we've been selling this on a pretty regular basis. And it would seem that dog meat has gotten into some kind of a fight. Um, those hungry bandits that were here before, still causing us a little bit of trouble. Hong is getting involved as well. You're shooting from really far away there, Hong. Or rather, maybe you're just holding. Now, dog meat, you can get involved too. And it shouldn't take more than just a few hits. We do have our backpacks on here, but yeah, there we go. We're fine. Select Hong as well. We're going to all group together so that we're going to be running at the same speed. And then we're going to take off towards... Oh, Desert Storm rolling in. Taking off towards the hub. Yes. Onwards we go, and I am going to be wanting to purchase some maps so that our team can know exactly where in the world they're going to be going next. We're going to be bringing most of this group back home, but um, 
we are going to want to continue to explore to try and find new blueprints and um, find new locations where we might potentially be able to put our roots down. So we are going to be fast forwarding as we make our way throughout this desert. So guys and gals, I will see you in a moment. And just like that, the hub is within sight. Well, at the very least, the first part of the hub. So we're gonna go run on up there, see if there's anything different or interesting that we can find in the little place that's outside, first of all, because we never know what we'll find if we don't look. So we'll poke our head inside there first, see if we can find anything that might be able to assist our new members who have joined us just recently. Yeah. How are we looking, team? Let's have a look at them. Still looking 100% like a Holy Nation slave. That's, uh, that's just swell. San, how about you run through with this body that you've been carrying? Um, how's your strength? Your strength is 30 right now. Um, is he getting experience? Only 3%. So maybe we'll just go ahead and drop down this hungry bandit. Um, I don't know if they're still alive or not. They're unconscious. Okay. But they are recovering. So we've given them a chance, a second chance at life. Sand, let's see, what do we have here? So we have a decent amount of weapons and we also have sabers as a research. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and learn that research. It doesn't cost us too much to be able to purchase it, so I'm on board with that. We could just try and pick up some basic food here as well. Why not? We'll go ahead and put that into our backpack. We've got the cats to be able to afford it right now. And I'm not really... Now, the Katanas, they do have the attack bonus, which is quite nice. They aren't as good at defending, but uh, we can see that there is a damage increase against humans. You can actually attack faster with Katanas than you can with Starves. So getting some Katanas on some of our folks will be really good. Uh, the sooner the better, really. So if we can get Katanas as a purchasable... Um, blueprint I'd be very very happy and I know that uh, they ha I'm pretty sure there have been some places where we've actually seen that so I'm definitely going to keep that in mind so we're going to go ahead and move away from this bloke for now and we are going to go ahead and research sabers so that's going to allow us to make some really really big sabers um, looks like everyone's hunger on the whole is on its way up Oren, you are getting a little bit lower on food, so I guess it's good that we did purchase that now. Uh, we are going to have to look at getting some more, because I think everyone's kind of eaten through their ration packs already, so we'll pick some up here in the hub as we roam on up here, and we'll keep our eyes peeled to see if there's any trouble going on, just because the hub is usually a good place for finding said trouble. But yeah, I'm really happy with how our melee attack and defense is going across the board. Precision shooting with um, Hong here is going quite well, too. Obalum is looking quite nice as a fighter. Who are you? You're a defensive wall. Of course you are. Uh, Pursuit from the Holy Nation Outlaws. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's just go ahead and roam on into the bar. Now we could, we could theoretically become allied to the Shinobi Thieves. I don't know about, wow, there are a lot of us here. Let's just, uh, let's just relax for a while. Now I did say that I was potentially going to try and pick some people up on the way back. There is still a strong chance of us doing that. I do want to get some hivers amongst us, so let's see about that. Let's do business first of all and just see what we have as options here. Not a bad weapon, quite defensive. Very defensive, in fact. Uh, sabers, which we all didn't already know. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that we might find something different there. We could buy some iron plates here. Um, they are marked up a fair amount. You know what? We'll take them back with us. Because we are on our way back. So, why not? Why not? Um, Food-wise, though. A little disappointed. Really, not that much food here at all. Let's get the meat wrap. And I guess we could get the Gohan as well. Sure. We'll stick with that for now. But let's have a look around here. Um, Firebone. Okay, so I think we may have potentially talked to some of these people on the way. We've got uh, Kiji over here. We have Burslem. Firebone. 
And we've got some bar thugs amongst us here. And a pacifier for the hounds if we piss them off. Um, let's go ahead and talk to our hive friend over here, first of all. Burslem. Looking for allies, Drifter? Yes, that's his voice. Um, sure. I'm interested, but maybe tell me who you are first. Well, buy me another drink and I will tell you everything. I'll let you... I'll, I'll tell you all about my pet Gutterkel Grimes, my steamy affair with the barman's daughter, and this uh, weird-ass rash that's been giving me hell. I feel like we've talked to you about this already, or we've heard this somewhere before, or I've seen it somewhere before. Let's just find out how much he's charging. 3,000 cats. Um, you know what? I do want to get a hiver. Um, for 3,000 cats, it's cheap. It does mean that he is going to be completely unskilled, which at this stage is probably not exactly what we're after. Hmm. No, I think we can be a little bit more picky at this stage. Burslem, you, 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 you're fun and all, but I think we'll say no for now. We'll try and see if we can find anyone else that has actually got some skills. So we got um, Kiji over here. Let's see what she has to say. You're looking at the best brewer in town, Drifter. My grog brings all the fellas to the swamp, till my distillery got smashed up by the bastard rummer gang. <clears throat> so anyways, you're hiding? Uh, yeah. Maybe. You make grog. We might be able to use that. How much? Six thousand. What do you say? You know, for someone that has some experience in brewing? Sure. Sure. Let's say yes. Now, I have recently just installed a new mod which actually allows us to uh, add face paint. And I'm not sure what category that is going to be under. Um, all different kinds of face paint. I really, really like her eyes. They're freaking bad ass. Yeah, so I don't actually know where they where they would pop up. Generally, I'm not going to change the characters around that much from how they start off, but um, I thought I'd just have a bit of a look around here first. You know what? It's probably under here. It's probably under face. We can see that we have 74. So if I just remember what number we're on, 51. So we can just go through, have a look. Uh, it looks like it changed a few things there. Ah, yes. So yeah, we can see we've got all of these different, um, you know, uh, face types now. Yes. A whole heap of different kinds of face paints and they're different for each of the different uh, races that you have within the game but I think for Kiji over here we are just going to stick with that 51 just leave it as is but uh, hopefully in the future when we do randomly encounter some folks we will get to see different kinds of people. Now, Kiji isn't much of a fighter at all. That's fine. How is your cooking? Your cooking is very good. Fantastic. Okay, so that, that I think, was an, an investment worthwhile. She's terribly short compared to Sand. Uh, let's see. Who do we have over here? We have Firebone. Okay, so Sand, how about you go have a chat to Firebone here, the other Scorchlander in the bar? Huh. How would you like Rom, Romer? It's okay, I guess. Haven't had it that much. Okay, come on, don't be coy. Everybody loves rum. Used to brew my own rum back when we had the distillery. Beast rum, I called it. One glass of the stuff and all hell breaks loose. One guy gouged out his own eyeballs with a fork after three glasses of it. It's great stuff. Okay, so we potentially have another brewer, so we might actually be able to start up a brewing operation with the two of these here, both Kiji and Firebone. Yeah. Why not? Let's let's look at getting into a new kind of potential business. We will say yes to that. We will say yes to you, good sir. So we have Firebone and Kiji who have joined us, who are going to run our um, distillery operations in the future. So welcome aboard. Let's see how you are. And yeah, you are also 40. So the two of them combined, they're going to be great. They actually look like they're twins just because of their height. They're almost identically the same size. So we are going to run with the idea that both Firebone and Kiji are actually twins. Twin brother and sister. 
brewers extraordinaire so i'm glad that we were able to hire both of them now we do still have poor burstlem here i really don't think burstlem is going to be able to do anything for us so we're probably going to be leaving burstlem here uh but we'll go ahead and select everybody and we are, we're going to be wanting to uh to move on out of this place dog meat included and we're going to be wanting to roam back home i'm I'm tempted. Now we can see all the way over there, we can see training. That's Hobbs. He's got nothing else to do right now. I've just got him training on the um, the turret training device that we have upstairs. We could actually try and build some other devices. We'll see about that. But yeah, I mean, hmm. 10,000 cats to these suckers to be able to um, utilize their equipment and to be able to use their merchants, etc. I mean, it's good to have an ally. Maybe we will need them in the coming days. It's an investment. 10,000 cats is an investment, but it could be an investment that's worthwhile. Let's head on up there and have a talk. At the very least, with the group that we have at the moment, we'll be able to go over there and see what's what. It looks like they're running well ahead, the twins, because I didn't put them on a on kind of group speed. Everyone try and walk the same speed. Try and fail. But they're on their way over. Sand, we can actually get you to sprint as well, because why not? We'll get you running ahead of the group. Taking off and heading down there, because he, you're the one that's going to be talking to them. 10,000 cats is a lot. But we can make that up with just a few sails. So, yeah. We'll let these two just wait here for now. Chill for a second. Everyone else, just kind of hold here. We're going to have a chat to this thief boss. So you want in on the shinobi, eh? The guards try and lay the crack down. But they aren't fooling anybody. They're nothing. Nothing if you cats can't handle. Look, I want to join now. You can join for a fee. 10,000 cats, as always. All right. You got yourself a deal. Sign me up. All of us. Welcome, brother, to the Shinobi Thieves. They are now our allies. If we head to squad and to factions, we can see that the Shinobi Thieves, we are indeed allies with them. The Starving Bandits, they hate us. They hate us overall. So, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing. Let's go ahead, jump inside. Dogmeat is going to have to wait outside and see who we have down here. Um, we have a guild plastic surgeon. Okay, so I'd be intrigued to know if the plastic surgeon is going to cost us anything. We also have a shinobi trader. So what we want to try and do with Hong, um, Obellum, and Lo is go to the plastic surgeon here because they're going to help us um, change things. Do you need your face changed? Do it. Um, okay, so we can see that's what she looks like naturally with her hair the way it was before it was cut off. I want to keep that the same, but I think we are going to get her um, a little bit of a change to here. So let's see what kind of face we can get you. I kind of, the skull, the skull is uh, is a bit intense, but I kind of like it for Lo. So yeah, maybe Lo can get a tattoo at the same time. Nice. Uh, and can we change your name up here? Yeah, we are just going to change it to Lo. There we go. All right, Lo, you're looking good. So this this actually has been a good investment for this reason. So if we go to your inventory now, Lo, we can see 60% like Holy Nation. Okay, uh, it'll probably change over time. So that's because of the clothing. I'm imagining it's because the rag stuff doesn't look like it's too good overall. Um, all right, where is our, where's our surgeon going? Or where have they gone? Um, or can I only use you once? Where have you gone, surgeon? I actually have no idea where they went. Oh, they're walking outside. Um, don't run away yet. Let's see. Um, not too many changes here, really, from what we can see. But uh, we might go for a similar thing, where we just um, have a look and see what's available in terms of the different face paint types. Uh, not too much among these ones here, from what we can see. Yeah, we'll just go for a strip for now. And we're going to do the same thing for Hong. 
go have a chat to you again, and I think you might be a traitor. I'm wondering whether or not, yeah, so it is actually growing out their horns. We're going to keep Rukas the same. Um, but yeah, it does grow their horns back out. Uh, so, yeah, there aren't as many for the Sheik. There's lots for the others, but the Sheik really only have the one. So, we'll just keep things similar for Hong. Sure. But Hong's got her horns back. Obelum does as well. But Ruka, Ruka's gonna keep hers the same. If not to just prove herself to others. Uh, looks like slave 10%. That's great. For some reason, Obelum still looks a lot like a slave. Oh, and I think it's because we've got actually got proper pants on. So that is making us a difference. Um, I don't know if putting those pants back on. No, yeah, actually just wearing these pants works for us. So let's just wear the dyed trousers still. Yeah, that's a lot better. So high chance they're not going to be recognized by any holy nation that see them, even though we are wearing the pants. Yeah. Now sand, let's see, while we're here, let's see if we can get the guy who had the backpack on. Um, this bloke in the corner, Shinobi Trader. This madame. Um, let's see what they have. Ooh, okay, okay, assassin's rags. Pretty cheap. Now, what's good about these is that we can see that they are 50% of the cost. So the Shinobi Thieves are good for this reason, that we can actually purchase things for a decent amount less than what they're actually worth. Um, like we could pick ourselves up a Ninja Blade or two. We can see that the attack bonus on those isn't as much as the Katanas that we had before. So we'll probably hold off, I think, on those. But um, leather shirts definitely worth us getting we've got black and chain shirt here which i think still gives us a minus to our, our stealth effect but it won't be as bad um i'm tempted to pick up the dark leather shirt but it is worth six thousand even at 50 percent so we're, we're not gonna do that yeah no we're we're gonna say no to that for now um the only thing that i might consider is the assassin's rags here which give us um positives to crossbows and stealth and assassination etc so if we were going for more of a Thiethy character, it would fit them really quite well. And the way that Hong has been turning out, I think we might actually have a look at getting Hong that kind of way. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily always work out the best by doing it this way. Um, a character that would be much more better suited to that, for that would be a Hive character. The Sheik are big warriors, but it's not to say that you can't. Uh, it just takes a little bit longer to get those people uh, going that way. We can see melee attack bonus. Actually, yeah, that melee attack bonus is really quite good, especially early on. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm half tempted to get a pair of, uh, well, a set of this for, for, for sand as well. Because the blunt and cut resistance isn't that bad. We could just take off his mercenary leather armor. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take that off just for now. We're gonna go ahead and put that on. I would like to get another pair of this as well. Um, so it's gonna be another 1400, but I feel like that's a pretty good deal. We could look at getting a Thieves backpack, just the small one, giving that to um, Hong as well. I think we're gonna hold off for now. There's no, there's no real need for us to drop another decent amount of uh, cats, but yeah. I'd say that was uh, I'd say that was worth it. But Sans all robed up now. Uh, he is still going to have some negatives to his stealth because of the equipment that he's wearing, just a little less. Uh, so let's see, can we track down where Hong is currently? Yes, we'll go ahead and trade, and we are going to give you this here. We can go ahead and sell these bits and pieces. We're not going to get much for them at all, but it's uh, it's something. Um, let's go to. Oblum's actually a, quite a decent fighter, so we'll go ahead and trade with Oblum. Uh, so, Oblum, can you trade with Sand? Thank you. We're going to go give you this nice armor for the time being, and we're going to go back to that trader and just see if we can get rid of some of this stuff. Take a look. Okay, we'll go ahead and sell, sell, 
just go through and see what else we want to sell here. Um, we've got those teeth we can sell. Okay. That's fine. Nothing there for us. Sell, sell. Sell, sell. Okay. Nice. I think we're all set there. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and select our lot. We can go to the um, training room up here and train our skills a little bit higher. And I'm in favor of us doing that. So we can see we have an assassination dummy, a training dummy, among other things. I'm actually going to get Sand working on the assassination dummy over here. And we do have a lockpick training box, and we also have, ah, a second level one as well. Let's see. Well, Hong, we are going to get you involved with that. And I'm just going to go through our skills here and just see if there's anyone else that can benefit from attacking these. Um, I don't think so, because they're just level 5 training dummies. I'm, you know what? We're probably not going to do this. It's going to take us a while to do it, and it's probably better for us to just get home. We can build these things at home as well, so I'm not so concerned about that. We are going to look at running back to Swin, though. So let's just go ahead, plonk everyone back down in town, and get them running. The whole bunch of them. Now, they should all be on uh, proper run speed. Looks like that's the case. Dog meat. Dog meat's already taken off. Damn it, dog meat. Let's get everyone to group up again. We definitely need to be traveling as a caravan of sorts. It's going to be a lot safer for us. All right. On we go back to Squin. And everything at Squin should be pretty good. Hanbu should be fully recovered. He's very close to being fully recovered. Spot is. So we'll get Hanbu up. Let him run back and go start doing his, his work. His much needed work. Hobbs, still training. Doing a good job, buddy. Doing a very good job. I'm going to probably upgrade the other training dummy up to Mark III. So let's just see what we're going to need to be able to do that. Just one electrical component. Now, I think we have that downstairs. So let's just have a look in our everything box. That we do. So Hobbs, go ahead and pick that up. And on the roof, we'll just get you to move. And then, wham, bam, you should start upgrading it. Ah, he's not going to. So we'll just get, we'll just force him to do it for now. That's fine. We can actually hear... Oh, I thought I could hear other work happening. But no, it's just Hobbs doing his thing there. I have been slowly stockpiling some building material for when we eventually do want to move out and into the world. But yeah. Home is still as it is as we left it. We're going to have to try and work up our cats a little bit more once we get back here. Uh, but we're also going to need a lot more material. So we're going to have to do some runs to get all that leather and all those pieces of um, iron plates. Yes, sirree. Now, we have more options in terms of what we can make. Horse choppers aren't a terrible idea. And it looks like our poor roamers are under attack yet again. What do you know? What do you know? Didn't take long. What do we have this time? Sand's actually a little slower for some reason. And we have dust banners that are attacking us. Now, dust banners are going to be much more of a threat to us. It looks like they actually have a camp out here. Okay, well, this is a chance for us to potentially improve ourselves. So let's just go ahead, run back up onto this road. And it looks like we have actually drawn all of them, which is not good for us. Um, now, the, bo the boss is... And is, is a really, really decent fighter. The others aren't that good. So let's get Hong. Place Hong off on the side here. Um, we'll select everyone first. And we all just want to gang up on that boss to start with. And then Hong will just get you situated up on the hill here. Firing down. Okay, so everyone is going to try and... Wow, okay, that's not a good start. Alright, backpacks off. Let's get in amongst this. Uh, I didn't actually realize we were still holding onto those with sand. Not good for us. Not good. Place that back down there, bud. Uh, Ruka is still being held onto, so we need to make sure that we release her. Weird, I know. Uh, Park, go ahead, put Ruka down if you can. Put down, thank you. And you should be able to fight a lot better now. Okay, so ideally, ideally, our friend will go down. It looks like we've got a whole heap of crossbowers in the back here, so we need dog meat to run back there and just start aggressing them. 
they need to go down as fast as humanly possible. It looks like we have actually taken... Oh no, that's just the rag shirt. We're going to take a fair amount of damage here. Okay, we're in trouble back here. Dogmeat is getting a little bit of a beat down, which I'm not super happy about. Has been able to get a few attacks in. But yeah, these crossbowers are just able to do some work. Okay, Dogmeat, you are actually helping us out though. Let's make sure that we are actually attacking everyone here. So we're just going to go attack all, just so they can split their attention where they need to. Firebone is getting involved as well. Dogmeat is down, bleeding, which is not good. If we do take a loss here, it's not the end of the world for us. We can recover back at um, the hub. This is just a good chance for us to really test ourselves against opponents that are actually, you know, decently strong. They're a lot better than us. How is Hong doing up there on the hill? Hong's actually kicking ass, taking names. This dust bandit that went up after Hong really is going to regret it. Um, Sand, we can see, now has an attack of 34 because of that new set of uh, armor that he's wearing. It helps him move around a little bit freer, but in saying that, it, it's, it's not going to give him the same protection that he had before. Looks like Lo is down, Kiji is down, and Firebone is down. Dogmeat is down as well. It seems like Firebone is actually dying right now, so we need to try and heal Firebone as quickly as possible. We can't really afford to take anyone off at this point. Park, where are you currently? Are you down there fighting them by yourself? Because that's how you do. Yes, um, okay, so who can we try and get to break off that potentially has some way to heal you? Hmm. Firebone, buddy, we do not want to let you die too posing there on the hill. Uh, let's see, Sand, we might just be able to pull you off for a moment to try and first aid. We don't want to have any deaths here. And we are actually winning. Slowly but surely, we are actually pulling this back. So we just need to make sure that we go to people and see Lo is starting to die now. Uh, we can see that Firebone has been sustained. So what we need to do with Sand is go over to Lo and just make sure that Lo is going to be able to get back up. Park is just holding his own right now. I'm going to put him on block just so he has a chance to survive there until these others are taken care of and they can go and join. Obelum looking pretty good. 27 attack. Very nice. Just keep doing some work there. Ruka, love your work. Love your work. How about you go save Park there? Hong is still going one on one against uh, a pretty tough looking bandit up there, but Hong's doing work. Very good work, in fact. Um, actually, yeah, we can see that Hong's attack is looking really nice after all of that. Okay, let's see. Sand, we're going to get you involved back in this fight now. We're going to go attack all, and we're going after the bowmen that are down here. And these bowmen are going to give us a lot of bows, so stoked about that as well. They are starting to get back up, so Sand is going to have to go back over and tell them they need to stay down. It looks like Obelum doesn't have any other choice but to just uh, try and kick at the bandit that is down here. We do have one other that's just come from nowhere, an escaped servant who is actually helping us out, so I really appreciate that escaped servant. Appreciate that a lot, but yeah, okay, we can see that Kiji is now dying, so send, if you can, break off there. That would be fantastic. We'll see if that's possible. We just need to get this lot down, and then we'll be golden. So Park, let's see where you are at the moment. We still have you on block. Let's take you off that. Oh my god, look at him. <laughs> oh my god. The man is a freaking pincushion. Slightly, slightly injured. That is how much of a badass Park is. He is an absolute freaking pincushion. Look at this man right now. He is a freaking hedgehog. Goddamn Sonic over here. That is unbelievable. He's just covered in bolts and he's still standing. I'm very impressed, my friend. I'm very impressed. I think you accidentally attacked our, um, our friend over here. I guess that's going to happen. Uh, let's just make sure. Okay, Dogmeat is dying. We definitely need to get to Dogmeat. Uh, all right, Sand. Oh, poor Dogmeat. Get to him quickly. He survived all this time. It's okay, we got you. He's gone to unconscious, so we t we've taken him out of the danger zone. Um, we just need this son of a bitch to go down. 
after this Dust Bandit. Hey, look, we, we've done it. We, we've beaten Dust Bandits. Um, and it looks like, oh, I was going to say, unfortunately, we're attacking the Outlaw, but no, we're not. Oberlin, you're doing a good job. Orin's gone down, is unconscious now. Firebone is still unconscious, going to be unconscious for a long while. Um, Hong, let's take you off hold so that you can get involved. Oh, damn it, you just shot Oblum in the side. <laughs> that will happen from time to time. And look at that, we're good. We are good. We have survived. Park is going to work, healing up as many people as possible. Okay, we can kind of take stock of things. Ruka, unfortunately, Ruka's leg is completely toast again. We have a lot of uh, unconscious dust bandits around us. Some of them will start getting back up. Others will go into recovery comas. We need to make sure that we just knock down any that do wake up. Dogmeat, looks like you're going to be getting up before long. Dogmeat is a very, very good attacker. But I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with our group. I'm really happy with how they have done overall. This was a tough fight. A very tough fight. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. Now, what we can do... What I'm really excited about is that there are so many helmets here. Um, let's see if we can track down their leader, because their leader kind of came up towards us. There's just so many of them that uh, it will be hard to find them. Hmm. Amongst them somewhere. Dust Bandit boss. Okay, still unconscious. Let's just go have a quick look at the boss. Okay, Horse Chopper, very nice. We can see the attack bonus is less, but you can see the cutting damage is pretty good. So we're having a look at that. Our blunt damage is actually, you know, it's comparable to that. Um, so we have a spiked helmet, a standard spiked helmet. So let's let us let Sand just go do his recovery. We're going to go to the others who don't have helmets. So Hog, for example, and let's have a look. We want to make sure that this isn't, yeah, so anything that does have a minus to perception, we're not going to be using. Um... So, the armored rag skirt is going to be a lot better than just the pants that we're wearing currently. So we'll go ahead and take those off. We'll even take these samurai boots, just because, again, it's going to be better than not having anything at all. Uh, but we aren't going to take that spiked helmet. We're going to have to leave that for someone else. Obelum, I'm fine with you taking that, because um, you are not going to be a ranged character. So we'll just get that on you for now. And I'm tempted to give you that horse chopper, um, just to see how you can do with that. All right, uh, now the others are going to be down for a while, so we're not going to be able to help them out greatly there. But we can see that Park is running around actually splinting injuries now, which is really good. Um, Oren is still down, but is going to be up in just a moment. We're probably going to have to drop down our camp beds, so we'll drop down all four of them. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be in a position where we are more than likely going to get attacked again. However... I think they had a camp down here. So, yeah, okay, they've got a research book, among other things. We can actually just use their beds. Let's do that. That's going to be a better idea. Um, it does mean that more of them could probably just roam along and come and find us. That's entirely possible. But it's just a risk that we're going to take. Pincushion Park. What a guy. What a guy. Um, okay, so let's go start picking up some of the people that are injured. We'll go ahead to pick up Lo here. Hong, can you go ahead and pick up Oren? Um, oh, no, Oren is up and about. That's good. Let's pick up Firebone here. Um, who isn't carrying some? Well, actually, some people can't carry. So let's see. Can you pick up Dogmeat? Ruka, can you pick up Kichi? Okay, team, let's start moving. I think we've got everyone now at this stage. Yes, we do. Okay. So moving across here, Sand, you are very fast. Go ahead and place in the camp bed. Okay. Uh, and Sand, we are actually going to get to come back across here because Sand's going to go loot some of these things for us. If nothing else, just get rid of their weapons. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I want to place dog meat in the bed. Yep, put in bed. Okay. I guess I could take them off their current running agenda. That's kind of working now anyway. Let's see. Ruka. Go ahead. Put in bed. Okay. And the others are in need of a rest up anyway. So Oren, we can get you doing the same. Sand, you're already running back because you're trying to do some more healing, I'm guessing, here. 
it looks like we are actually going to have to place down some of our camp beds, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll put them down. Why not? And we need to put those backpacks back on. Work away, Orin. Work away. We'll just get these made before I try and move or do anything else. But I'm very impressed with our team. They've done a fantastic job. This will give Ruka a chance to lay down. Okay, Ruka. You plop yourself down there. Now, Park, I am going to be intrigued to see if you can do ah, repairs. There we go. Great. So we'll also add robotics to that list. Brilliant. Okay, Orin, you can go ahead and just rest for now. So we still have a few spare beds, which is good. Hong, go ahead, plop yourself down. And Sand and Park will be able to rest as well. But I am going to want Sand to run back and... Ah, they're coming back. They are coming back. Of course they are. How about we go ahead and attack unprovoked? Park, we're going to need you to do the same. We can take a little bit of a hit here. Only did one damage to us, so that's great. Ow, that did a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure that these two friends can handle themselves against these three that are running towards us. They have already been downed once before, so it means that they're injured. Come on, team. You got this. Dust Bandits are now hostile towards us. Well, I feel like they were pretty hostile before, but you know. <laughs> Um, so what we want to make sure is that Lo, um, Hong, actually not Hong, Firebone, Kiji, Lo are going to get helmets out of this. So we might actually be able to, they're not unconscious, so let's see. Oblum, let's get you to just jump up, run over here. You actually already have one. What am I doing? What am I doing? Lo is in a recovery coma. It's going to be out for a while. Kiji, same thing. Firebone, same thing. Right, well, in that case, let's just go ahead and pick this stuff up anyway. We'll go ahead and pick that up. Um, we've got heart protectors that we can give out. Not bad. We'll take the samurai boots as well. Um, we'll also take the rag skirts. Yeah. Give this horse choppers out to someone. Um, so we did come with a few junk bows from this. I feel like holding on to some of them will be worthwhile. Sand, you might as well go rest for now. Park, we'll see what else we can pick up here. Uh, spiked helmets, just regular. Ideally, we'll try and pick things up if they're standard grade as well. Get that horse chopper. Just because there's so many of them here, we've got quite a bit of a choice. All right. Take another junk bow. Oh wow, that's a that's a high quality junk bow. Very nice. Uh, another standard heart protector. It's good. And everything else is shoddy. Okay. So yeah, we could we could totally sell some of these things off, but um, some of them aren't going to be worth a huge amount. The the heart protectors we can see are worth a lot, um, but getting that as the actual sell value is going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, and right now we're just trying to equip our folks. Uh, I think I just saw another high grade thing, maybe. No, nope, it was my imagination. That's fine. Just continue flicking through them here. I'm hoping to find some more helmets that are high grade, but... We'll take what we can get. You are a completely naked Dust Bandit boss. So they're going to be here for a little while. So even if I don't get everything I want now, we can get the others to go pick up through what's left. Nah. Head back, Park. At least this is a nice lit up place. Um, do we have any others over this side here? We do. We still have some dust bandits. So we could try and remove the dust bandits from this region by taking them out here. It's totally something we can do. Um, so, am I going to be able to trade with any of them here? I'm not so sure. I might just be able to open up your inventory. Let's see. Have a look at Oblum. I don't think I can trade. 
Rebellum, you're looking fine. Hong, we can't give you any of those head gears. Yeah, it's low that we want to try and sort out. So low, you're actually able to get up and about. Let's go to worlds where Park is. Can we trade with Park? Yeah, we can. So we'll go ahead and take a heart protector. Which will be real nice. And I want to take some headgear, so I'm going to get her to run over and go and do that. Now, Lo, where where does your skill lie? You don't have any... Yeah, so it's just going to be straight up attacking. Uh, I don't think I'm going to want to give her a saber right off the bat. And really nothing else from this lot here. So we're probably just going to send Lo across to go and pick some things up. Some boots and a hat. And um, everything else that we've found so far has been shoddy, so she's just going to have to take the shoddy stuff. Uh, we can get her wearing the rag skirt as well, which is going to be better for her. We could also get the spiked club, just because why not? There you go, you look like a proper mercenary now. Kiji, we can get you going across. Um... Yeah, you and Firebone really aren't going to be fighters, though, so I'm not actually that concerned with the, getting them equipped with things. Um, purely because they're going to be rocking around in clothes, because they're going to be based at home. So I'm actually not so concerned about getting them decked out and stuff. So we do have one more heart protector, which I don't think we're going to give out. Yeah, so Parky can probably just go ahead and drop that for now. But yeah, we do have this other horse chopper, which I'm tempted to give to maybe Orin. Because Oren will do quite well with sabers. So let's get Oren to talk to Park real quick. Alright, let's see. Take the saber. Put that back into here. We got some plated long boots. Give those to Park, just so he's got something. Because I stole his shoes, that's right. Uh, and yes, we have this high grade junk boat, which we can give to Hong. Much better than the prototype one. Much, much better than the prototype one. And we'll just drop all these other pieces of ammunition across there. And then everyone is going to have a big sleep to recover. It's not going to take us too long to recover by the looks of things. Most of our injuries are going to be able to heal up pretty well. Looks like that leg is on its way back at the same time. Yeah, so we're going to be resting throughout the night. And hopefully come the morning or at least midway through the morning, we're going to be good to get back up and onto our feet. There is a chance that the others that are up the hill from us will cause us some issues. We've got another group that's just here. Um, so they are a little close for comfort, but they seem to be ignoring us for now. And I think if we stealth, we'll stand a greater chance of remaining hidden. So I will be back with you all again in a moment. Okay, the morning has arrived. Now, there are still some of us that are resting up, but I'm going to want to try and see if we can take out these remaining dust bandits that are over here because, um, well, we want to make sure that we give everyone the best chance as possible to recover. So we're going to take everyone that is still looking pretty good. So we've got Sand, we've got Park. Oren, you're looking okay overall. Ruka, you're actually looking pretty good considering even considering that your leg is a little damaged. Hong, you're good to go with your bow. Oblum, you could do with a little bit more of a rest, and those two really aren't, aren't much of a fighter. So, yeah, I think we're going to take this group here. Oblum, I'm, I'm tempted to take you over. Your arms are, are a little damaged, but I think you're doing good overall. Park, how is that splint kit? Can we do any more splinting over here? No, we can't. Okay. All right, we'll get Oblum up. So we're going to take this group here. They're going to be our fighters as we start to move towards them. We're going to take them off sneak. Just get them standing here for a moment. I'm going to get Hong to go off towards the side. And just see if we can uh, maybe anger them a little bit into attacking us. Go ahead and attack target. And there we go. We are off. Off and into the fight. And Dogmeat, let's get you involved. We're going to get you attacking that target there. Uh, we're going to select our group here and just say attack all. Okay, Oren is getting up and getting involved with that one there. I think I want to get Sand to go and assist against the Bowman. Hong is getting attacked currently. Dogmeat is currently trying to get up. Come on, Dogmeat. Get up. Get up, Dogmeat. Dogmeat's not going to get up. Getting up. 
I think Dogmeat might be a, a tiny bit glitched out, but it looks like Hong is able to hold her ground, at least for now. You can see that we are outnumbering them here by a decent amount, enough that uh, we're able to take them down without too much trouble. And again, this is uh, this is more good combat training for us. We're just going to get better with every single fight that we have. Every little bit of damage that we take, we get better and better. Now, um, oh, okay, alright, more fun has arrived. So let's run back for now. We're going to let Hong get a few shots off. Looks like Firebone is getting up and getting engaged. How about we don't do that, if possible. Looks like we're going to have to try and split up a little bit here. Might take... Uh, Ruka to go head off this person. Go ahead and attack here. And we'll just take the others. It looks like they're just going to go start getting involved in this fight right away. Ruka has got his attention. That's great. Sand and Hong doing work. Very nice. Um, let's see if we can actually get Firebone to get Dogmeat out of bed. So we'll go ahead try and pick up Dogmeat. And then go drop Dogmeat down. There we go, Dogmeat, you are free. And uh, let's get you out of sneak. That might have been part of what the issue was. And let's get you running over there, Dogmeat. Get involved. Okay, Sand, you're doing well. Oren, you're holding yourself there. Park and Obelum. Or Obelum. Doing a very good job. Ruka took a bit of a whack there. Hong, stay focused on the one that's behind you, please. Good work, team. Good work. We can see there's a book and a cup on the ground. We have that heart protector up there. And I think we've actually cleared out this camp. Should be all that's left of them. It's another one down. Another one down and just one left standing. Boom. Just like that. Excellent. Okay, so we can have a look around. See who's left here. I think the others have been properly healed up. We can hear those flies marking the dead. We definitely want to be taking as much as we can with uh, this large backpack, so we will go for anything that isn't going to be shoddy at the end of the day. Okay, let's see, what do we have over here? Okay, oh, standard junk bow, very nice. Yeah, we'll just take that. Is that another one? It is. The horse chopper is going to be worth a fair amount. Worth us taking another spiked helmet, armored skirt, and samurai boots. Excellent. We are still pretty club close to the hub, so we could run some of these things up. The horse choppers, if nothing else. Got caught stealing. Ah, it's because one of them's awake. Or pretending to be dead. Let's see, nothing else there. I'm gonna get back up. Go ahead and put them back down then, Oren. Do what you need to do. There we go. You will never match up to a Sheik. No, indeed. Go ahead and take that. Okay. You put up a little bit more of a fight there. Dogmeat, do you have an arm? Yep, you're playing limbs. Don't go too far. He always likes to run off way too far. Okay. All right. Make sure that one doesn't get away. Oh, it... <laughs> the bowman just lost, lost their leg. Yikes. Yeah. Kenshi's a deadly world. I just want your equipment. What can I say? You guys shouldn't have attacked us last night. Oh, there goes another leg. Yikes. Okay. Um, yeah. We can see that they cannot use any boots. For a very good reason. Um, okay. Ah, uh, the boots actually ended up on the ground. Uh, Sand, where are you off to? You're trying to medic Dogmeat, who has gone miles away. And Park is trying to do the same. Oh, great. Listen up. Hungry bandits. Are they coming for us? Really? All of you get back here. <laughs> well, okay, I was getting close to wrapping up today's episode, but it looks like we're going to be having ourselves another fight. And we are going to need everyone involved in this fight. Uh, so we'll get everyone prepared as much as we can to take on this group of hungry bandits so let's get Hong standing off on the side firing that bow dog meat running back with a limb in hand trying not to select Hong here just trying to keep everyone 
on the ready and we're going to go ahead and attack all go team go now sand i think you are one of the only people that have your backpack on maybe can that fit in your backpack i should have had a look first to see that was dumb of me okay i guess you found a way <laughs> you found a way uh park will get that off Oren, i think you're one of the only people that have yours on yeah everyone else doesn't have one so we're good okay let's do this fight they run in and start slashing away at them they're really not going to stand much of a chance here dog meat taking that one down very very quickly and that was the leader of the group just absolutely fell apart park thank you very much <laughs> dog meat just ate the severed human leg very nice and this last one is going to go down in just a moment. Completely surrounded by us. Five of us can... I think... No, th I think I've got it set to three. Three attack slots. So three of us can attack at the same time. We've got arrows coming in from the side. That's both a positive and a negative for us, though. We have to keep in mind. Um, Alright, let's grab Oren with that backpack. And go have a word with this one here. Alright, you're, you're off, dog meat. Playing limbs. Okay, that's fine. We'll take that. We will also take... No, nah, they're just shoddy wooden sandals, right? They're regular wooden sandals. That's fine. Okay. And everyone else needs to still have a bit of a rest up. So we'll go get everyone to jump back into their beds. So that they can have a sleep. Get back up to the HP that they need to be on. Hong, you can go plop yourself down in there. And there is actually a bed here for every single person, dog meat included, but dog meat is more than happy to roam about. We have a very bloodied battlefield around us today. All of these corpses just left, um, yeah. And in saying that, you know, there is still a bit of wealth on them in terms of what they have. We've taken most of the valuable things though. We are going to run up with, um, Oren up towards the hub to sell off the blades that we've picked up we need to remember that the hub doesn't have a huge amount of money as well but thankfully though we do actually have um access to the shinobi thieves now so selling off these horse choppers is going to be worthwhile and that's actually going to be a much better horse chopper we can see the the damage quality of that is a lot higher so yeah you can really see that that rise up to to 65 blood loss is really good as well just a, a pretty good weapon overall especially if you have if you have a little bit of weapon skill already you're going to be looking pretty good overall i'm happy to see that we have another standard bow we'll probably try and hold on to some of those but yeah that has been us and as dog meat runs across the plains as we rest dog meat chews away at that little leg there we're going to be bringing today's episode to an end thank you for joining me for another episode of kenshi it's good to be back with our group and well we are on our way back home i don't think it will be too long before we actually make it back the run from the hub back to home isn't too dangerous so now that we've proven ourselves against dust bandits we should be able to handle a lot of the things out on the road between there and here we won't find any holy paladins this far out so at least for now we are safe from them i've been right gone you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. And as promised in the last, we have another piece of artwork from the Origami Unicorn. A very cool piece featuring Ruka Park and a very pissed off Gorillo. It may say to be continued, but we know exactly how this turned out. The detail on the Gorillo is absolutely insane, and on Park and Ruka, very, very cool style, and another brilliant piece to add to the Kenshi archives. As in before, if you would like your own fan art to be featured at the end of each episode, please submit it on the Discord or flick it to me on Facebook or Twitter, the links of which shall be in the description. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kinshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com store.
And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible.